Huh, looks like we're dealing with another franchise that doesn't want to stay dead. The Fairly Odd Parents was a Nickelodeon show that ran from 2001 to 2017. It follows a boy by the name of Timmy Turner, an average kid who has a pretty shitty life. His parents are neglectful, he's constantly picked on at school by his bully and his teacher, and he has an evil babysitter, Vicky. So as a result of this, he's given Cosmo and Wanda, his fairy godparents, and they turn that frown upside down. Such a simple concept. Too bad it would get ruined. Now, where do I stand on the Fairly Odd Parents? I actually did like it. Sure, it's not right up there with the shows I've talked about before, and it's not really right up there with my childhood favorites, Adventure Time, regular show, and The Amazing World of Gumball, but it still has its heart. Too bad corporate greedy scumbags would milk this franchise for all of its worth until it ended up being a shell of what it once was. Now, much like my Futurama video, I will talk about why this new show is a terrible idea, and how it contributes to bringing the show even lower than it did before. So, let's get started. The number one reason why this is a terrible idea? Much like Futurama, it already had a satisfying ending, and that ending is known as Channel Chasers. I'm not going to go too in-depth with it because a YouTuber by the name of Just Stop did that work for me. But the show had a satisfying ending with Timmy growing up and finally letting go of his childhood. And although he doesn't remember Cosmo and Wanda, he still cherishes the moments he shared with them. This was a perfect ending to cap off the series because one of the core elements of Fairly Odd Parents is eventually growing up. And this is something that the later series would forget entirely, with a special revealing that Timmy made a secret wish. A wish that he could keep his fairies forever, or Timmy being a grown ass adult who still has fairy got pet. Did the rules not factor into this? Like, what the fuck? I wish, I wish, I wish I was Drake Bell. You're the boss. So, because of these constant sequels and seasons after the finale, it kind of defeats the purpose and weight of that ending since Timmy never grew up and he continues to be a selfish little brat. But I'll talk about those points later. Now, let's get on to the next point. It's no mystery that this show has almost been cancelled a number of, I shit you not, five. Five times. Now, the reason why it was on the brink of cancellation was mainly because the show just couldn't compete with SpongeBob SquarePants at the time. So usually when a show is almost on the brink of getting cancelled, it means that the show is no longer profitable and you should move on from it. But given the fact that this is Viacom, a corporation that will do anything in their power to get some money, even if it's through illegal means, like seriously guys, what the fuck, they decided to run this franchise into the goddamn ground just to make some money. We kept making the show, it did get canceled five times, they said no more, you're all done. And just as I was finishing a season and, and thinking it was over, they would pick it up again because the ratings were so strong. To me, this is one of the main reasons why Fairly Odd Parents began to decline. The executives at Nickelodeon were flip-flopping with the show and only desired to have a cartoon that was the same caliber as SpongeBob, both in ratings and flavor. And because of the constant getting cancelled and getting renewed, it eventually means that the writing staff have been altered, meaning that the old people were getting dropped out and the new people were coming in. The main problem with this is that these people didn't have any experience in animation before they worked on the Fairly Odd Parents. And because of that, this is where we get into the third point of... <laughs> Seasonal Rot. Let's be real, the show went downhill after season 5, which pretty much just goes to show how Channel Chasers was meant to be the definitive end of the series, but Viacom said, We've got to have money. Yeah, basically. So when season 6 came out, we eventually got introduced into the later series' biggest problem, Flanderization. The characters slowly started to become one-dimensional, and the dynamics changed drastically. Timmy becomes even more of a selfish dick than usual, Cosmo becomes even more annoying and stupider as the series goes on. That wish is just vague enough to work! Remember, you had us poof it there during what I like to call Timmy Turner's week of really oh, stupid Oh, it is just annoying! And Wanda gets simplified to being nag, nag, nag. And hell, even the relationship between Cosmo and Wanda drastically changed. 
As Ellis Mark said in his video, they went from a loving couple to a bitter married couple. Cosmo and Wanda definitely had it the worst though. They just became miserable to watch. It didn't seem like they enjoyed each other's presence at all, and at best were just indifferent towards each other. Cosmo was no longer just a lovable, well-meaning idiot. He was fucking brain dead and could barely function on his own, but at the same time really hated Wanda and always gets in her for being a nag. And Wanda... Well, she just turned into a fucking nag. What the hell just happened? And as for the other characters, the characters you used to love and cared for, they pretty much get flung to the sidelines or they just get Thanos snapped out of existence. Like, they, 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 you don't see them ever again. And why? Just so we can focus on Crocker, Timmy's dad, and Timmy himself. And it's not just that. Continuity and internal consistency pretty much get flung out the window. Things like the rules aren't taken seriously as they once did. And the biggest problem, which is something that every single show has done, they take older episode ideas and they literally copy it beat for beat for the newer episodes. And listen, you can't trick me, okay? I've sat through four shows, okay? I know reskins if I see them. And the Fairly Odd Parents is no exception. Don't worry, I'll talk about the massive elephants in the room, don't worry. I'll talk about them, but we gotta talk about this next one. Yeah, these live action movies are terrible. I remember watching the first movie, and I immediately wanted to drink Drano. I haven't seen the Christmas one or the summer one, and to be honest, I don't want to. The CGI versions of Cosmo, Wanda, and Poof look terrible. Look, there are some things that are just not meant for 3D. The Fairly Odd Parents characters definitely don't look good in 3D. Oh, I guess there is an advantage to being 2D. And as for the movies themselves, they don't capture the spirit of the original five seasons, and they were only made for the sake of milking this franchise's tits. Now, let's get into the main trio that just contribute to bringing this show even lower than it did with this live action movie and with seasonal rot. Bring out these three pieces of garbage. J -J -Squad. Now, when it comes to Poof, a lot of people say they don't actually mind him saying that he's adorable. Okay, but what's his personality? It, simple question. If he's good, what's his personality then? Exactly, he doesn't have a personality because he's a blank slate. Poof was added for the sake of spicing up the series, giving it a little flavor. And he ended up getting forgotten 96% of the time, despite the fact that they photoshopped him into the intro. He's just a baby that does baby things. And that's it. He just basically ends up being a pointless addition to the cast. But a lot of people love him because he's so cute. Oh my god, look at Poof, he's so adorable. La, 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 la. You guys really... Ugh, you guys annoy me. And when he's not being a baby, they decide to turn him into Donald Trump. For no re- Oh my god. Like, Poof is just a literal representation of how much they don't care anymore and how low they're running out of ideas. Next up on the list, we've got Sparky, the talking fairy dog. He is without a doubt the worst addition to the franchise. He's annoying, he's stupid, he's selfish, he doesn't care about Timmy, and what's more important, He's pointless. With Poof, I can kind of give him a pass because he's inoffensive. He doesn't really do anything, you know? But Sparky, there's no excuse. He, he's, he's literally Cosmo, but the intelligence is somehow lower than Cosmo. And nine times out of ten, I forget his very existence. And it seems as if the show agrees with me because in the next season, his character was automatically removed because of the negative reception he got. And when he got kicked out, we got introduced to a new character, Chloe. This character is described as the perfect human being. The show's words, not mine. She's just a Mary Sue that's so perfect at everything and has such a happy life. But for some reason, she gets fairy godparents just cuz. And not just any fairy godparents off the street. No, 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 no. She shares Cosmo and Wanda with Timmy. 
This defeats the very concept of the show because only miserable kids are allowed to have fairy godparents. This kid is not miserable in any sense of the word. I mean later down the line of season 10 they give her some flaws, but they're so minuscule that it doesn't change the fact that she's a Mary Sue that has a happy life. So yeah, because of these three, they pretty much destroyed the reputation of the series. Now let's just wrap this all up. So, it's a mixture of people who don't know what they're doing, the show constantly being cancelled and renewed at the same time, a hit of seasonal rot, characters getting flanderized, side characters being ignored, continuity being destroyed, those shitty live action remakes, and those three dipshits are the biggest reasons for why the show went downhill. And at least with season 10, it was revealed that it would be the final nail in the coffin to what used to be a great series. But because this is Nickelodeon and Viacom we're talking about, years later, they hit us with a trailer for the continuation of The Fairly Odd Parents. The new series, The Fairly Odd Parents, Fairly Odder. Hey look, it's LS Mark. You did this, didn't you? You told Butch to make this show, didn't you? I know, I know you're responsible for this, Mark. I'm on your ass. <laughs> Sorry, I went a little cray cray there, but I'm good now. And just judging by the trailer, this show looks terrible. It looks like they decided to not listen to the criticisms of the live action movies. Well, they did listen to one criticism. Don't bring back the child predator. I wish, I wish, I wish I was Drake Bell. You're the boss. And again, the only reason why this show is being made is for the sake of a cheap cash grab. So the plot for this show is that Timmy gives his fairy god parents to his cousin and that cousin's stepbrother. Ass pull. The biggest problem with this show is that because it's in live action, it limits the full potential of fairly odd parents. Because the fairly odd parents was an animation, they could do whatever the fuck they wanted. There was no limitations to what they could do. But given the fact that this is in live action, it's obvious that there are some limitations. And if they tried copying what the show did, it will look even faker than it does now. So yeah, this show looks pretty terrible. And it looks like another generic sitcom, but with fairly odd parents characters. I have nothing to say. I'm just done. Nickelodeon, Viacom, you both suck. The Fairly Odd Parents was a good show, but because of the corporate dickheads at Viacom wanting to keep it going for the sake of making money, they eventually made it into a shell of what it once was, and now they're bringing it back so that they can make cash on it despite the fact that the show was dead by the 10th season, and it wasn't even profitable by the time they finally gave it an end. They're just pissing all over the show's legacy when they do stuff like this. There isn't much I can say other than don't watch this current show that's currently being made. It's not made for the sake of adding something new to Fairly Odd Parents. It's made for the sake of cashing in because nostalgia is profitable. You know, originally I was going to do a ranking every Fairly Odd Parents episode video, but I decided against it for two main reasons. One, I have no doubt in my mind that Ellis Mark is going to take care of that for me. And two, even if I did that, the YouTube algorithm is most likely going to pick his video over mine. So the headache, sweat, tears, and the meltdown I would experience while watching this show just wouldn't be worth it. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, tell me what you think, and uh, I'll catch you guys later. And now if you don't mind, I'm going to finish ranking every single episode of Regular Show. Bye.